Hey, what's up, Internet Land? This is Federico Hidalgo coming to you from the wonderful city of Tempe, Arizona. Beautiful weather outside. It's absolutely cold. Matter of fact, it's February 2nd right now, and it's colder right now than it ever was this past December or November through the wintertime, and I absolutely love it. It's cold outside. It actually feels like it's snowing. I love it. Anyways, I'm over here at the gym about to work out, and I'm about to do back and biceps and I'm kind of making this video because I'm just about stalling because uh, it's it's late I've been getting my workouts in like around let's say 1 a.m. and it's one of those nights again I got a blast all these here and I'm excited about it because back and biceps you can't quit and as I was thinking as I'm stalling here how this kind of relates to the inner man or the spiritual man you know we will never have a transformation in the spirit man, our walks with God, our spirituality, our spiritual growth. We'll never have transformations in our physical body, our diet, our ability to work out our, our, our physical man to become stronger and more efficient. We'll never be able to do these things effectively until we realize one thing. We will never have a transformation until the pain of staying the same is much greater than the pain of change because in order to have change there's going to be pain if i want to have the transformation in this body that i'm seeking after it's going to require pain this don't feel good to shred your muscles up it doesn't feel good you know to sit there and and and, and when you when it's much more easier convenient to go lie down watch um, Netflix and and just chill. It's you know what I'm saying. Everybody's talking about watching Netflix and chilling. It's easy to do those things, but it's much more difficult to, to sit here and put your body through a torturous workout that's going to bring about transformation. You won't have transformation until the pain of staying the same. <laughs> is much greater than the pain of change. Likewise, in the spirit man, when we live for God, you know, we all want to know God and become like him, become more spiritual and become more stronger in the spirit. But you just don't get there by snapping your fingers and saying, bada bing, I want to be spiritual and be greatly used by God. It happens whenever you get to a place in your walk with God where the pain of staying who you are is just awful. I mean, it's just gut-wrenching to just consider going another year walking in the same level anointing until the pain of staying the same it becomes greater than the pain of change that's whenever you're able to have a breakthrough and have a transformation because then you get up one day and you're like you know what i'm gonna become who god called me i'm gonna become what god ordained me and birthed out of me this gifting he's placed in me is going to live and i will do whatever it takes to make it live because if i have to stay who i am right now i am going to die if i have to stay another season another year living for god the way i have been living for god i'm going to die if you have not come to that place, watch out because it's coming. It's coming to you real soon. This is a season I've been praying. God's been showing me many of God's people are going to walk into this wall. And many of you are already there. You're there where it's like, what is the point, man? My walk with God completely bites. I mean, my prayer life bites. My, my knowledge of God's word is just the same old, same old. There's no fresh manna. There's not a fresh rhema word. It's all dead, dry, and stale in my walk with God. If you feel that way right now, ladies and gentlemen, it's because the pain of staying the same is starting to just get so large. And I'm, I'm here to speak a word of prophecy into you that God is about to change your life if you allow this pain to become greater than the pain of what it, doing the things that, that you got to do to make that change. The pain of staying the same right now you're going through is so large. That's why you feel this way. Don't let the enemy come in and seep in depression, seep in this murmuring, walking in wilderness 40 years, doing nothing, wasting more time than you've already wasted. You've got to pursue your calling right now. You've got to go after who God called you to be. It's inside you. It's in you right now. You've got to become who God called you to be. And the pain of staying who you are has got to become so great that you allow it 
to break within you. And when it breaks within you, there's going to be pain. This is going to be a spiritual heart condition, and you're going to cry tears. That's what the Holy Ghost is for. Allow the Holy Ghost to come inside, pray in the Spirit, pray in the Spirit, the heavenly language of the Holy Ghost. Let God saturate all that dry, the dry, um, bitterness and unforgiveness and, and, and staleness in your life and let him bring a new life out of you. He says that I am like a well of living waters flowing up out of your belly, living waters. I have come that you might have life, he says. Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and that you might have life more abundant. He didn't call you to sit on no pew and be dead. He didn't call you to go to church on Sunday and become religious with a fish in the back of your car and a Jesus t-shirt wearing Christian that you, you've become. God says, no, I want to live and I want to live inside of you. If you're out there, ladies and gentlemen, right now, and if you come to this place where the pain of, of staying the same is just becoming so much greater and eclipsing the pain of change it will not happen this miracle i'm speaking of will not take place unless you actually put your feet and your legs to your faith and take prophetic action that means you start making changes that means you take yourself to the spiritual gym that means you take yourself to your knees in prayer that means you force yourself to read some chapters of the bible until this carcass this flesh this humanity that's contrary to god dies on an altar and then the Holy Ghost comes on the inside and radiates and becomes to make new paths for your life and new destiny. Actually, it's the same destiny God called upon you, but you've not experienced it. So it will be new once you walk in it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Federico Hidalgo coming to you from Tempe, Arizona, speaking to all those out there that are walking in pain. Pain of staying the same has become greater than the pain of change. Go out there and become changed, become what God called you. God bless you. Have a nice night.